Hey everyone, Michael Short here. Come on, let's go outdoors. Well, welcome to Lac St. Anne, where there is a walleye egg collection process taking place. It's a number of days uh, in the very early spring. Once the ice is off the lake, biologists uh, descend upon the lake and, and catch uh, both male and female walleye. And the eggs from these fish will ultimately end up in uh, roughly 15 lakes across the province. The walleye is among the most coveted sport fish by anglers. Over the years, catch and release regulations, tag systems, and special harvest licenses have been implemented to ensure walleye stocks can meet the growing pressure from anglers. After consultations and surveys, it's clear there is an intense desire for more opportunities to catch and keep walleye. So how do you go about trying to achieve that goal? One of the tools fish managers are turning to is stocking. This program is to stock out walleye to, to lakes that don't have walleye naturally or maybe have limitations to how, my, how many uh, fish uh, are produced every year. Care is taken to ensure only a small percentage of spawning fish from the lake are recruited for the restocking program. Uh, people ask us, well, aren't you impacting the local fisheries population? We estimate we're uh, less than a half percent of the female population in the lake we're, we're actually intercepting. So it's a very small a number of fish in the lake. So uh, we're, we're blessed with uh, a really uh, healthy population in, 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 in the lake here. These are our holding pens. At this time of year, you have to hold the uh, males and females uh, separate from each other because and what we do is we hold the fish here until they're uh, ripen up and they're ready to be taken in, into the tent and, and stripped of their eggs. Okay, so we do a three to one um, male to female ratio and we spawn them into the bowl doing the wet method. Um, we spawn them in unison. This is male four. Good girl two. Then we stir them gently to mix all our eggs and milk together. Um, so far it seems that the fish from here are about um, 30,000 a fish. So this could be possibly 90,000 eggs in a bowl. Yeah, and then we will take the temperature of the fertilized eggs, um, write down what time they respond at. And then we will start our stopwatch. And then we let them fertilize for uh, four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes, yep. And then we will do a tannic acid bath a couple times to make sure the eggs don't clump. And what's the significance of four minutes? Um, it allows the eggs to fertilize. Yeah, so they need about four to five minutes to so fertilize. That's pretty quick. Yep, it's, everything is a very quick pace. Yeah. Maybe just explain what's going on. Okay, so um, Mike is going to start doing the tannic, the tannic bath. So he'll take a full um, pitcher of tannic and gently pour it in the sides so he's not um, stirring up the eggs too much. Then he'll take his feather and gently um, move, roll the eggs around to try to um, remove the, the sticky surface of the eggs so they don't clump. Then you kind of um, keep them in the tannic bath for two minutes about to try to get as much of the stickiness off as you can. Okay, so then Mike is going to come over to the upwellers. Sorry. Lift it up for you.
So we once they water harden, we'll set, we'll um, siphon them from here. Um, we'll fill these carboys with water. Um, then we'll transfer the eggs in here, fill the complete carboy with water so there's no air. And then we just transport them in these coolers with some ice on top depending on the temperature. And uh, then they will go to the hatchery. Well, the hatchery is very, very good at increasing survival. So uh, um, walleye produce a ton of eggs. A single female can produce uh, up, over 100,000 eggs. And the, uh, the hatchery is very good at uh, increasing survival, whereas in a natural situation, there's, there's less survival. So uh, through that, we're able to uh, get a lot of fish out of this program. Given the demand for walleye, I asked Stuart if we're at the point where stocking is the only way to keep up with the desire to catch and keep these fish while maintaining populations. So no, I wouldn't say that. Um, uh, with our walleye program, we still uh, stand, if, if, if age classes are, are, are there, it's, it's, you're better to have the, um, the fish spawn within the lake themselves and sustain themselves. We're, we're spawning as a useful tool, and it is a tool where area, lakes that either don't have uh, a sustainable walleye population, if we don't uh, stock, stock them, we're not seeing recruitment in those, it's like some of the signs we look for is if there's no recruitment sh showing up in the population, we, we then use uh, stocking to maintain that, that fishing opportunity. So it's going to be about uh, four to five years before anglers can realize the benefits of this egg collection process. And uh, at the end of the day, of course, it just means that we can catch more walleye and more importantly, perhaps, take more walleye home so that we can all enjoy. Till next time, everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors.